think access to justice is a human right. We have a responsibility as lawyers to do something about it, and I didn't think that people were doing enough. I'm Katie Richards, and I'm the CEO and founder of Law on Earth. When I was growing up, my brother had an accident with a, you know, a rocket blowing up it in his face while doing science at school. There was no help for us because we didn't know anything about legal rights or you know how to get someone to help out in a situation like that. It's always been within my blood to try to help other people to have at least equal opportunity um, so that they can make their own decisions. In 2015, I just finished my second year at the Entourage, uh, which is Entrepreneur School down in Sydney. And they put this globe in my hand and they said, the world's now your oyster, do something impactful. And I came back that day in time to do fire safety training with my team in the office. I had an accident um, where a fire extinguisher came exploding out and I got hit in the face several times. It wasn't just the physical issues, the bigger problems that I had moving forward were all the, the trouble that I was having with fatigue and short-term memory issues. I knew that if I didn't find a way through this, then I was probably gonna lose my practicing certificate because I would have gone bankrupt. To be able to still keep my clients and help them, I had to start creating these precedents and creating guides, and then I could still do the legal part that they needed, but I would only charge them for the amount of time that I was spending doing my part. That was the light bulb moment. That's what we needed to do to actually teach the world how to safely manage their own legal issues. So that is the crux of in exactly what Law on Earth does. I would rather go down with a burning ship trying to make this change than to actually walk away from this. Go back to a job where, yeah, sure, it'd be you know, good money as a lawyer and I could have a cushy lifestyle and live the rest of my life in regret. Let's just go all out, spend the money that we really needed to, to get a proper platform built. As far as I was concerned, there's really no other choice um, other than to be on AWS for security and scalability. Not just because I believe in the products that we're using, but because I was dealing with corporates, government, universities, and they are super risk averse. And as soon as I said AWS, they're like, oh, wonderful, great, okay, what can we do to help? Generally, they say that, you know, the first couple of years is the hardest, and that's when people tend to quit. So it's important that your why as to what you're actually doing it for is strong enough to get through that period of time. It's always just been such a big part of who I am as a person, not just what I do. 